If we construct a machine which has two stationary windings and a permanent magnet rotating is called as alternating current. In now, AC, sine wave is not the only waveform we can get. Waveforms can be different. In the previous video of this series, we learned about direct current. If you haven't watched that video, I'll recommend you to watch that video first and then come back to this video. I'll give link for that video down in the description. If you have done watching the direct current video, then let's get started with alternating current. If we construct a machine which has two stationary windings as shown in the figure and a permanent magnet rotating in between these two windings. Because of the rotation of the magnet, a voltage will produce across the windings in line with the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Now let's draw a waveform for voltage produced by this machine. When the magnet is in position A, voltage across the winding is zero. When position of magnet changes to B, maximum voltage will be generated across the winding. When the magnet goes to the position C, again the voltage becomes zero. When the magnet gets to the position D, again the voltage become maximum but in the opposite direction. And in the next position it gets to zero again. Now if you observe this waveform carefully, you will find that the voltage is changing its magnitude and direction periodically. At this position the voltage is zero. At this position the voltage is getting maximum. At this position voltage is again getting zero. At this position, voltage is again getting maximum but in the opposite direction. And hence, such type of voltage and current who is changing their magnitude and direction continuously with time is called as alternating current. Now the question is how can we generate AC? Of course by using the machine we just saw which is called as alternator. And also an equipment called inverter can convert stored DC into AC. Now the waveform we just saw is called as sine wave. By the way, if you are interested in knowing why AC is represented by sine wave, you can watch my video on that. I'll give link for that video down in the description. In AC, sine wave is not the only waveform we can get. Waveforms can be different like square wave, triangular wave or sawtooth wave. If you see, all these waveforms are changing the magnitude and the direction both. All these waveforms represent AC supply. Some of the inverters can give you a square wave output. You can check your own inverter data sheet. You will get to know if the inverter gives you the pure sine wave output or square wave output. AC offers many advantages over DC. AC is easier to generate than DC. Construction of AC motor is cheaper than DC motor. AC is also easier to transmit over a long distance. Invention of transformer made AC very popular. And this is the reason why AC is in every house. We represent AC by this symbol, a circle with a sine wave inside. Now of course I need not to tell you the applications of AC because it is almost everywhere. Still, you can let us know the applications via comments, we would be happy to read those. But the question is, why AC is better than DC in some cases? Well, we'll see the answer of this question in the next video. And to get the update of next video, I'll recommend you to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification so that you will not miss the next update. So I hope you found this video helpful and you now have a very clear idea about alternating current or AC in short. If you like the video, do hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also do check out the description of this video as I have mentioned some of the other videos which you may like. That's all for this video guys, I'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching, keep learning.